Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, your coach, Frenchy. Today, episode number 83. So what you have on the program today, coach, uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, for you guys, uh, Nick Suzuki contract, uh, the development for success for the Montreal Canadiens. We have no spot for forward rookies for the upcoming season. And finally, we have uh, NHL news today. We have a couple of signatures. One of them is the uh, UF3, John Klenberg. So don't go nowhere. But before we start, please uh, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live show, and finally, sharing this video. Plus, below this video, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the episode number 83. Let's dive in and talking about the contract of Nick Suzuki. Let's talk about the profile of Nick Suzuki. Last season, an 82 game, he have 21 goal and 40 assists for 61 points. We know the 22 years old was draft first round, 13th overall pick by the Vegas Golden Knight. It was trade with a mega trade between the Vegas and Montreal again, match parity. Tatar and the second round pick follow Ski with the Montreal Canadian. His salary cap is 7.875 for the next eight years. That's we're going to talk about this in the next couple of minutes. His first three seasons in NHL 41, 41, 61 point. He became the number one center for the Montreal Canadian. That's who is Nick Zuzki. So let's talk in, guys, about uh, his salary cap. He's going to start the upcoming season for the next eight years for the Montreal Canadian. His first year is if for the upcoming year for his new contract start this year until 29.30. His AAV, guys, is at 7.8. 875 uh, go on the surrey cap for the Montreal Canadian. But because we call this like a front load contract, he got already a sinus bonus at the beginning of his contract. First year, he got a $10 million this season. He become in NHL, guys, uh, the number 12 ranking highest salary in NHL for the upcoming year. So what happening with his contract, guys? His contract got this year is 5.999. And then he got a signature contract of 0.01. Combined both contracts. That gave him, guys, a contract of $10 million he got this year. But again, for the next eight years, his contract is at $7.875 million. Yes, at the front load contract, it's really hard to performing at the same time because he never going to maybe reach at the beginning his full potential. But a long term, Montreal win with his contract because he's going to get at the end of his contract. I would say to you, year number four, five, six, seven, eight is full pot uh, potential of his career in NHL. So I believe it was a great contract for Montreal Canadian. So let's move on, guys, now on the development for the Montreal Canadian. I want to share with you guys this. Montreal Canadian is really focusing now on the development. If the player does not reach his full potential, it's not because of Ken Hughes and Jeff Gordon. They provide them everything they need to need to get to make them their full potential if they have the skill and the talent. Otherwise, you cannot blame the Montreal Canadian. What I want to talk to you guys is the Montreal Canadian with a new management, they build, they start to create some different department inside the Montreal Canadian. So first, they create more staff for the videos coaches. They create more analytic people and do their new department to give more chance for the Montreal Canadian to know more about data analytic about the players. They build a new department for the psychology. They hire two new people. They have two new people on the nutrition for the Montreal Canadian. And finally, they create a player development department for the 
Canadian. Who are they? Here we go, guys. Under Martin Saint Louis and the Montreal Canadian staff coaches, that's what start the development for the Montreal. Then the Laval Rocket under Jean-François Hull, the head coach and the staff. They have already Rob Ramage, director of player development. He has now Francis Bouillon, assistant director of development. Add during the last couple of months, Adam Nicola is a skill coaching. They add Marie-Philippe Poulain, another coaches and this department of development. They add Vincent Le Cavalier, special advisor, where many act inside this organization. And finally, they have Douglas. He's the guy in charge about the, the physical testing for off ice for all the players for the development. That give you guys an amazing, great way. When a Montreal Canadian now, they're really focusing on the development. They have that kind of toolbox. And inside the toolbox, they have all these different tools to give the best chance for each player they draft or they add inside their organization to reach their full potential. If this doesn't work, it's not because they don't have the tools for them. I love now how the Montreal Canadiens, their new direction, they have all the chance for each player to become, to reach their full potential. Let's move on now for the no spot forward for the Montreal Canadian for the upcoming year. Guys, when I'm talking about abs no spot yet forward, it's because right now the roster is full. And let's talk about the center, Devorak, Zuzuki, Evans, Dak. He did not sign his contract yet. It's coming very soon. Then you have Savkowski, Caulfield, Hoffman, Anderson, Drouin, Dadonov, Pitlick, Amia, Biron, Gallagher, and finally, Pesera. 15 forward, if Savosky make the team. Obviously, for the two new players, or the new next two players we expect to be a part of the Montreal Canadiens as a rookie right now, is Jesse Allen, 23 years old, and Raphael Harvey Pinard. I believe they are the next two players forward to join Montreal, but because the situation with Montreal too many forward, I don't see them to make the team for the upcoming year, at least injuries, or at least Sarkowski cannot make it, go back in Laval Rocket, possible Biro go on a long-term injury reserve, or possible they trade Armia or other forward. Otherwise, guys, you have no spot for the rookies this year at the beginning. Honestly, defensemen, yes, forward, I don't see this could happen for the Montreal Canadiens. Would be interesting to follow the next move for Jeff Gordon or Ken Hughes for the next couple of weeks until the beginning of the season. Whether they're going to do open spot or not for the forward for different rookies. Finally, let's finish this episode number 83 with the NHL news uh, today. Here we go. We have uh, two new signatures. First of all, the UFA John Klemberg find a home. Honestly, only one year, $7 million. He signed a contract with the Anaheim Ducks. And surprisingly, a lot of people in the hockey world we thought Glenbow is going to be with a team more with have a chance to win the Stanley Cup, a longer contract, a long term. But it's not happening right now. So he's going to be with Anaheim Ducks. But why coach Anaheim Ducks? I still believe this is just for a couple of months. He's a rental player for the Ducks. I believe the Ducks try to get something and return at the trade deadline. It could join a team going to make the playoff and going to give back maybe a first round pick, second round pick, a prospect. I think there's a great move for the NM Ducks. They have a lot of money on the salary cap right now. And now they reach the minimum salary cap request for the NHL. So it's a win-win for both parties. This is going to be only a rental players at this moment. Finally, the Flowers sign Owen Tippett, a two years contract, pledge contract, I believe, for $1.5 million. So this is good for Tippett. This is good for the Flyers for the next two years. Tippett got traded by the Flair Panthers to the Flyers during the year last season. Last year, he had a 21 point and 63 game combined, both teams. 10 goals, 11 assists. It was his third year full time in NHL. Remember, he was a 10 overall pick by the Panthers. And 2017, still not a reach his full potential. The Flyers believe he can play a big role for them and the future. So it will be interesting for 
23 years old, how he's going to react for the upcoming year. This guy completed all the news uh, today in NHL uh, around the league. Here we go, guys. Today, we talk about Nexuski, development for the Montreal Canadiens, no spot for the Montreal rookies forward, finally, it's fun news around the league. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode number 83 with the hockey coach, your coach, Frenchy. Until the next time, we want to remind you, of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody.